this is going to be Bible references that would pertain to cremation. A lot of people ask about the subject of cremation. Is it right or is it wrong? What does the Bible teach? I believe the Bible teaches the dead should be buried. Uh, this isn't to cause guilt on someone or conviction or make someone feel bad for cremating their, a, a loved one. My biological father was cremated. It wasn't my decision, but he was cremated. And this isn't to make anybody feel bad, but I believe the Bible teaches we need to bury the dead. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So the Lord Jesus Christ was buried. He wasn't cremated. Burial is part of the gospel Jesus Christ died he died for me he was buried but he rose again the third day according to the scriptures none of his bones were broken when he was alive and his bones didn't get turned into powder after death 1st Corinthians 15 35 through 38 says but some man will say how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come thou fool that which thou sowest is not quickened except it die and that which thou sowest thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain, but God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. And then verse 42 through 44 says, So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a natural. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. So a body is sown in, into the ground, with the hope it will be raised back up again. Something inside of a man may want to get cremated because they want to hide from God after death, but you can't hide from God. God could find every piece of dust and put it back together again. God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and we returned to dust. In Genesis 3.19 it says, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Ecclesiastes 12 7 then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit unto God who gave it so just like the Bible says God's wanting, wanting us to return back to the dust in the ground our body will decay in the ground but by placing our body in the ground it shows we want a future resurrection and here are some references to men being buried in scripture and this is just a few there are a lot 1 Kings 2.10 says, So David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. Matthew 14.12 says, And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. Luke 16.22 says, And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Uh, Acts 5.6 And the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. Acts 5.10, Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost, and the young men came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. 1 Corinthians 15.4 says, And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that's part of the gospel, as we said earlier. And Joseph's, bo Joseph's body could have been cremated and carried around easier if it was cremated, but they chose to carry his bones with them out of Egypt. Jo uh, jo Joshua 24, 32 says, And the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem, and a parcel of ground which Jacob bought of the sons of Hammer, the father of Shechem, for a hundred pieces of silver, and it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Genesis 23 Abraham buys a sepulcher to bury his dead. Genesis 23, 
verse 4 says, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I might bury my dead out of my sight. Uh, verse 6, Hear us, my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us, and the choice of our sepulchers bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulcher, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. God wanted Moses to be buried, and only he knows the location. Uh, Jude one nine says, Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. God didn't cremate Moses. If you look at Deuteronomy 34, 5 through 6, it says, So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. So God didn't cremate Moses. Second Samuel shows burial is considered a kind act. If you look at 2 Samuel 2 and 4, it says, And the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. And they told David, saying, that the men of Jabesh-Gilead were they that buried Saul. And David sent messengers unto the men of Jabesh-Gilead, and said unto them, Blessed be ye of the Lord, that ye have showed the kindness unto your Lord, even unto Saul, and have buried him. It says, This kindness unto your Lord, even unto Saul, and have buried him. So it was a kind act. Ecclesiastes 6.3 says, If a man beget a hundred children, and live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. So the Bible seems to hint at dead people should be buried. The older prophet, who deceived the younger prophet in 1 Kings, desired to be buried next to the younger prophet when he died in 1 Kings 13, 31. It says, And it came to pass after he had buried him, that he spake to his sons, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the sepulcher wherein the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. He wasn't wanting to be cremated. To see the emphasis the Bible lays on burials, get on your Bible program like Esword or Sword Searcher or get a concordance, Search the word buried, burial, and bury, and it's well over a hundred times mentioned in Scripture. So it would seem God's definitely wanting us to bury the dead. Some Christians in the past have been burned at the stake or haven't even had a chance to be buried. They will still be resurrected just like those who are buried. But if you're faced with the choice of burial or cremation, the Bible definitely seems to point towards a burial. For whatever reason, Many choose to do cremation. Some say they do it is for financial reasons. Um, but we shouldn't be hard on those who have cremated loved ones or have a desire to be cremated themselves. We aren't more spiritual for believing in a burial. But this is just what I believe is the Bible truth about cremation.